you're watching Roo TV and this is the Freshers Game Show. We're here with our first two contestants, James and Miriam from the Rum Society. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm here with some more people from Rums. They're hogging the screen. It is Marlene and Clara. Hey. Hello. So tell us a little bit about Rums. Um, so Rums is the Reading University Music Society. We run lots and lots of different music ensembles. Um, so we've got a concert band, we've got a choir. I'm here with our first freshers of the competition. Uh, what, what are your names? I'm George. George and? Dylan. We've got a brass ensemble. So uh, what, what are your names? Francesco. Francesco. Salma. We've got a sax ensemble, we've got a string ensemble. So uh, what's, what are your names? My name's Hannah. Hannah and? Uh, Ed. We've got a jazz band, which you're a part of yourself. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm here with some members of the Comedy Sock, so uh, say your names. Uh, I'm Bob. Ben. So we got Bob. And uh, Matt. Bob and Matt. Okay, so uh, you're from the Comedy Sock. Tell us a little bit about Comedy Sock. Uh, well, we're a, uh, a group of people that think uh, we're funny, and we go on stage to try and prove that. Uh, what else haven't you said? Uh... I'm Jazz. <laughs> uh, I'm doing pharmacy. I'm live on TV. Hi, Mum. Hi, I'm Ines. Ines? Ines. Ines? Um, ML. ML. I'm Joel and I'm doing oh, primary head, oh, isn't it? So, Did you say flute? We've got flute, flute choir as well. So I'm here with the uh, media societies, probably some of the best societies on campus, if I say so myself. We've got Junction 11 and uh, we're represented by Fatima. Hi, I'm Fatima, I'm head of training at Junction 11. I do English and international relations. And we've also got Millie from Spark newspaper. Hi, I'm Millie. I do the online lifestyle editing for the Spark. And we've got our very own Emma, who is one of our executive producers. Hello, everyone. And I promise you, she doesn't know the answers. Where can we uh, see you next and where can we meet you and find out more? Um, so we're down in uh, the other half of this uh, tent. I mean, this won't be broadcast until uh, after the fair. So. <laughs> OK. Uh, we're down at L uh, London Road uh, in L29, which is where all the music takes place. Now, uh, we need some buzzers from you guys. So wh what are you going to use to buzz in? Ding. So a simple ding from uh, from James. Uh, Nino. Meh. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> yo. So we got yo. And ya. Yo and ya. Yo and ya. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, my buzzer will be. <laughs> so a very uh, a very feminine buzzer there, Andy. <laughs> buzzer. I like beep. So we got beep. Uh, uh, beep beep. Beep, beep. Beep. <laughs> so two beeps and one beep. That's going to be very easy to decipher. I think I'm going to clap. You want to clap? Moo. Moo. That, that moo, that's been quite popular. I'm going to go ding, ding. Yeah, so my buzzer is going to be doorman. Doorbell. Okay. And mine's going to be Brandon. <laughs> Doorbell and Brandon. Okay. Uh, we're going to go straight into it. <laughs> we're going to get straight into it. Okay. We're going to go into round one, which is the food round. Are you ready? This is the first round. It is the food round. Ooh. So I'm going to put three items of food on the table. Uh, the quickest to buzz in gets the first pick of the, what they think the price is. And then whoever gets the closest price wins the point. OK, are you ready for your first item? Yes. First item, two pints of milk. <laughs> How much? I'd say one pound and five pence. Uh, one penny. One penny. One penny. 96p. It is 90p. So we have a point there. But next up, we've got a can of soup. S oh, no, I don't know now. 80p. 80p? 59p. 59p. One pound. One pound? Uh, I can usually pick them up for uh, 80 pence, Ben. 80 pence. I can tell you that a soup is one pound. Ooh, Bob, you're lacking it. You're slacking it. We went to different shops. A regular latte from Mondial here in Rusu. 250. Uh, Two pound 30. Two pound 30? One pound 75. One pound 75. I can tell you. It's £2.70, Francesco wins another point. 
Three kilograms of pasta. All right, so here's my thinking behind this. It's a lot of pasta, you know what I mean? That's not like one day's worth of pasta, not two. It's about 10 days worth of pasta. So I reckon six quid. A pound. A pound? Two pound 50. Two pound 50? Three pounds. Three pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds. Three pounds. Pound sixty-five. Two pound sixty-five. It's two pound ninety. Francesco wins the round. That's a clean three from Francesco. Uh, three pound twenty-five. Two pound ninety. Three pound twenty-five and two pound ninety. I can tell you, three kilograms of pasta is two pound ninety. It's two pound ninety. Marlene wins the point there. We're moving into round two. This is the laundry round. Exciting, right? So we're going to show you four laundry washing up symbols. And you've got to buzz in, get the correct answer, and you win the point. <laughs> is it a 40-minute cycle? No, it's not a 40-minute cycle. Not to be worn under the age of 40. So, uh, wash at 40 degrees. That means you wash the clothes at 40 degrees. 40 degree wash. Wash at 40 degrees. Number one. 40 degrees. Yes, it is. For, all right. 40 degrees. What about 40 degrees? Uh, 40 degrees wash. Boy, uh, 40, 40. Temperature 40. Yeah, wash at 40, yeah. Point to the point to the there. Two apiece now. Yo. Uh, uh, it can't go in the dryer. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no drying. Yeah, no tumble drying. I'll allow that. No tumble dry? Don't tumble dry? Correct, don't tumble dry. Thank you, Barney. What? <laughs> What's all that about then? <laughs> that is. I don't know, I don't know. Um... <laughs> um, put it on the washing line. Yeah, hang out to dry. Get the point. And finally, you can tumble dry it. No, it's not. Uh, washing machine. Like washing machine? Uh, don't turn on. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? A circle, 360 degrees. Is it dry or? Tumble dry or? I can't give that to you, it's dry clean. That's dry clean, so no points there. <laughs> Dylan, you are in the lead. Let's move on to round three. Quick fire questions. Okay, we're now gonna move on to round three, your quick questions round. I'm gonna ask you five questions. You've got to buzz in and give me uh, the correct answer. Question one, what uni is our varsity? Which uni is our a competitor? Um, is it Henley? No, it's not Henley. Is it Royal Holloway? It's not, any ideas? No. Oxford, yeah, Oxford, I'll give that to you. It's Oxford Brooks. Uh, not really Oxford, I mean it's Oxford Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> what happens in Mojo's every Thursday night? Clubbing? No, it's not clubbing, that's Saturdays and Wednesdays. Uh, game night. What happens in Mojo's every Thursday night? Quiz and karaoke. Yes, yes, you got it. Quiz and karaoke every Thursday night in Mojo's bar. What is the name of the smaller campus just down the road from White Knights? London Road. Yes, London Road. Point there. Kendrick. Uh, it's near Kendrick, but it's not Kendrick. Um, it's that. Um. What is the name of the smaller campus down from the road of White Knights? <laughs> Of course, a musician knows that one. And uh, question number three. What is the name of our secret garden on campus? Iris Garden. Uh, no buzz, so I'm going to... Iris Garden. Point to Clara. What is the name of our secret garden on campus? Holly Garden or something strange. No, it's not that. No idea? No. no. It's the Harris Gardens. What songs always get played in the cheese room at Union? Um... Breaking free. Uh, what's another one? 
dancing queen, maybe, and um, uh, what do you call it? Reach for the skies. I accept. I, I, I would also. Those are correct. I would have also accepted Mr. Brightside, 500 miles, and don't stop believing. Which country is our international campus based in? Malaysia. France. No, it's not France. No. Um, it has to be an English country, so let's just go with. No, no. No, no, it is in Malaysia. Which university building here on White Knights campus is named after the first English female professor? Wessex Hall. <laughs> no, it's not Wessex Hall. <laughs> nah, it's not Palmer building. No, it's the JJ Thompson. No, it's not. It's Edith Morley. Edith Morley. Uh, are you going to join Roo TV? Are you going to join Roo TV? Yes. Correct answer. Great answer. Go and find our table over there. You can sign up for the Give It A Go <laughs> session. But also, Dylan, congratulations for winning this round. Well done, Dylan George. Are you going to join the Roo TV Society? Do doorbell. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? I quite like this. Oh, can I take the mic? I quite like this TV. Do you know what I mean? I've always wanted to be famous, and here I am. Mum, I made it. I'm on TV. I might join the society. There we go. Take that for. Um, what it is. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing. I, uh, I lost track of the score, so uh, you better get a Harry Potter take. Are you going to join Roo TV? Join. There's only one right answer to this. <laughs> yes. Yes. There we go. Right answer. They both had a point. But after all of that, Ed is the winner. You win some. You win some Harry Potter. Well done. Are you going to join the Roo TV media stream? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing. The winner there with, uh, with such a lead, Francesco, you win some Haribo. Well done. Thank you very much for playing. Are you going to join Roo TV? Yeah, <laughs> yes. That's the correct answer. Where can you find Roo TV's content? On the Facebook page, Roo TV. Facebook page, YouTube, and Instagram. We're on at Reading Uni TV. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube for Roo TV, and uh, Spark have got an online website. You can collect papers all around campus. Well done. Thank you very much for playing. Because it's a media stream special, I'm giving them all prizes.